Ah, so it is good day to you, huh? Eh? Oh, look at your energy fields. <laughs> Even if we can't see you, we want you to look at your energy fields because they are brilliant, bright lights acknowledging your own innate. You see, as you are connecting with your innate, then everything else around you connects with that innate as well. You saw that, the field. You see, that is your creative life force. That energy and claiming it as yours is that power place. We know people are listening to this in the future. So, because time does not exist, correct? <laughs> so as you have that no time zone on your own innate, no time zone on your own creativity, no time zone. And you can tell your alarm clock that each day. Huh? But wait, I'm in the no time zone. <laughs> do not go off. Huh? Oh, yes. As you do, know that the universe responds. Take a deep breath. As the universe responds, your vibration connects over and over and over again with that innate, with that cellular ability that is your creative life force. It cannot not do that. It can only say yes to you. So what are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are you expanding? What are you creating? Do you love it? If you do not, who is in charge of that? Not your neighbor that you told it to, huh? You. You are the creative life force of this universe. You are the star in your own movie. Everyone else are supporting players. They may think that they're the star in your movie, but they are not. You are. They are the star in their movie. And you then get to be the supporting player. And it is interesting how other people seem to respond to your internal request. Huh? Inside your cellular body, in your field, you are putting forth energy of this is how we would like to be treated. Oh, take a deep breath on that one. So how are people treating you? You are creating that with love, with light, with energy. And know that you are also in charge of creating something different. You are also in charge of that innate, that energy that is the source of all that is within you. There is no mistake in that. There is no mistake that you selected the parents that you selected, that the sweetheart that you selected, the non-sweetheart that you selected. Because that is for your evolution. And that evolution is bringing you step by step closer to your enlightenment, which is the highest vibration possible. And it is within you and your energy, within your realm of possibilities, because everything is possible. Yes? And that is what we love. We love humans because everything is possible. Now it is time that you get the opportunity to learn to love yourself and trust yourself. We do. We love you deeply. We see you. Even when you don't want to be seen, 
Some people think they are invisible and are always surprised when we say hello. <laughs> you are visible and your radiance is glowing big. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Trust what you are choosing to create in this world. And breathe into it daily. For it is you to love just as I love you, just as we love you. Namaste. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Continuing the message from Adiranda. The subject is innate. And sometimes it's difficult to separate the innate from what you think the innate is. Statements are often made that it's okay for you to fall in love with yourself. It's okay for you to forgive yourself. These statements, very common in seminars of this nature from channelers, including this one. And it's confusing. For the actual identity of self is hard. It's hard for humanity old souls in particular to actually put these things together and make sense so let me let me tell you some things we have given parable after parable and story after story about men and women who try to identify something that's a mystery Over 18 years ago, I gave a channeling, one of the first ones about the woe man named Woe, about the voice, the, the, the issues of movement he, he saw in the corner of his room and how it frightened him and how it disturbed him and all of these things and he wasn't ready for it and he went to the doctor and to the psychologist and, and they continued and continued and at the end you find out <laughs> that it was him trying to get in touch with him that he had separated his linear self so far from anything that was even beginning to be a spiritual self he didn't even recognize it it continues in parables the search for the golden orb and so many other times that I've given you metaphors they're all about the discovery of self. And even today, you speak about the innate and you study the innate. Dear ones, there is a tendency for you to separate it. For you to make it a linear event. There's you and then there's the innate. As though it were some foreign thing that sat in the corner and knew about you and was smart. And that's not the way it is. So we ask for this, an understanding of the integration of who you think you are and what that is which is called the innate. You might even change the innate. If your name is Mary, it's Mary B. <laughs> if your name is Ralph, it's Ralph B. It's something that shows you it's you. It's you in a form or a vibration that you're either not used to or that you want to separate from you since it is so different. The seminar today, the advice today, the energy of today is for you to be in touch and expand you so your innate becomes you. Now you're together instead of looking at it as the innate. The actual article in English of the separates from you. It becomes 
a process, a thing. And it isn't. It's you. There are so many layers of you. And that's because consciousness is very, very complicated. In a human being, consciousness can simply be survival. Consciousness can be relationship. In this particular case, we are telling you that there is a layer of consciousness, which we call innate. And that particular consciousness is connected. It's connected to the soul. It's connected in a much bigger way than the consciousness of survival. You may have the consciousness of benevolence, but unless you understand that your innate is part of it, it doesn't go any farther than your neighbor. Climb inside of your innate and understand it's your skin. Understand that as you start to evolve and learn that the innate is not the innate, it's your innate. Your higher self. Pieces and parts of things you don't understand. It's responsible for guidance, intuition, health. It's a part of you that is separate only because you're not evolved into it yet. And that is why this meeting exists. You might even rename the meeting to say evolving into my innate. And stop separating it in a linear fashion where it somehow stands next to you or is inside of you and you're trying to get a hold of it or trying to touch it as though it were elusive. And now the truth. Some of you ask the question, well, does innate have a personality? Does innate have a consciousness that is different from me? Here's the truth. It can. If you've chosen a path of fear, it can be. For the innate represents that spiritual part of you that loves you so much and wants to connect with you so much, connected to the higher self and your chemistry at the same time. Innate always has his hand out to you in love. Let's get together, it says. Let's get together. Years ago, I gave a channel about the yeah buts. The yeah buts are the groups that say, I want this and I want this, and I'll go in this direction and I'll read this affirmation. Yeah, but I don't think it'll work. And as you receive information that seems to be either eye rolling or too grand or too great, for you inside the subconscious will say, yeah, but. Even though you're saying the affirmation, even though you're saying you believe it, even though you want to cognize it, there's the yeah, but. And what we want to tell you is this, that this is an old energy process that is no longer needed with you. It's a habit. We've given channels about the habits and the filters. They're all dropping away, dear ones. Some of you will weep for no reason at all because you're starting to understand the yeah buts are going away and you're reaching a point in life that you say, I'm starting to feel my magnificence and I don't understand it. I'm starting to feel an okay peacefulness about things and I don't understand it because I was always in the way of myself before and now I'm not and it's frightening because <laughs> I'm meeting my innate. The innate is not the innate, it's innate. It's your, it's your bridge to the higher self. It's your bridge to health. It's your bridge to things that you wish to create. It works with your intuition. It's you. It's you with your name on it. It just hasn't been having an alliance that you have recognized before. Get used to seeing it as you, corporally as you, consciousness as you, 
but you that vibrates at a slightly different level so it seems to stand apart but it isn't and won't it's interesting how you as human beings will identify the parts of your body that separate you from everything you will say well my my hand hurts the truth is you hurt it just happens to be around your hand there is a different consciousness when you're starting to look at an alliance with you all of your cells and the innate start to see innate as part of you so much part of you that you can even feel the love that pours from it through the higher self and the pineal to that part of your consciousness that really hasn't seen it yet then you'll start to understand the complexity of the evolution of the human beings consciousness that's starting to involve all these processes to a point that someday you'll be your own medical intuitive that someday you will know when white blood cells are being engaged to fight a bacteria or a virus just as as you know today that your hand hurts or that you hurt all together you will be your innate is one of them so it's a plea it's a plea to see that which is yours and always has been as allied to your consciousness so you're working with you you're working with a mystery part of you that has vibrated higher than you until today until today when you realize it and your hand is out and and the innate hand is handed out is no longer the innate it's you and you come together and if you can do that and when you do that everything that is taught this day from now forward will be about activating what is yours instead of trying to reach out and find it and that's going to go a long way toward doing the very things that you've always wanted this is the message of the day and will continue to be later on i'm going to give you a process a, a reminder you might say of why you have to be patient for certain kinds of things and why they don't work the way you think they should that's coming <laughs> until then innate is you you are innate and when you talk about an expanded innate it's an expanded human it expands to include all it is that is you and you become it that's coming and so it is <laughs>